Hi guys, this is T from Betty and Brenda and thank you for joining me for another video. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new here, go ahead and click that button and subscribe. Come with me every week as I make bath and body products. Today, I am making bubble scoops. Let's get started. mentioned I am making bubble scoops and I'm making a unicorn bubble scoops I already sell a unicorn sneeze lotion um, as well as a unicorn sneeze whip soap on my web website at bettyandbrenda.com but now I'm gonna make actual bubble scoops to go along with that so for my colors I am using pink vibrant from nurture soap as well as Purple Vibrant from Nurture Soap. I am using a Banana Boat Yellow from Crafter's Choice. My blue is actually a dye, or lake I should say, from Nurture Soap. And then I'll also be using just the base color, which will be the white. For my fragrance for my Unicorn Sneeze, I use Beach Daisies. And that's from Crafter's Choice, and you get that from WholesaleSuppliesPlus.com. I have all of my ingredients here. My citric acid, my baking soda, my SLSA powder. I also use olive oil and polysorbate 80. You want to put that in there, and that's just to help keep the, coloring, the colors from sticking to your bathtub. And I don't know if that's not... There we go. That's coming into focus. You add some of that in there to make sure that the colors don't stick to the bathtub. And I always also add cocoa butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring things out. And make sure you have your gloves on. And also make sure you wear a mask. The SLSA powder that I use is a very fine powder. It does not, um, I guess, poof out as much as some of the uh, older ones that I used to use but even still you want to make sure that you have a mask on before you get started because it does have a little bit of the powder that can get into your nose you don't want it to irritate your lungs okay so let's begin in this cup I already have my olive oil as well as my cocoa butter I don't use a lot of cocoa butter simply because it is such a strong fragrance or for me at least because I like to use the ones that is natural so which means it has the the cocoa smell in it I don't get the one where that smell is kind of already taken out so it can have an overpowering smell in your product if you use too much but I do love the benefits that it has for your skin so I've measured out my olive oil already as well as my cocoa butter I'm gonna go ahead and put my fragrance in and the last thing I'm going to put in here is my polysorbate. All of the liquid ingredients go together and then all of your dry ingredients go together. Thank you. 
again, now that I have everything in here, and then I have my wet ingredients off to the side, I'm gonna add those together. Make sure you have a little, little spatula or something close so you can get all of that goodness out of your container. Don't want to leave any of it behind. And then you're gonna mix that together with your whisk. You see it gets caught in there and just push that through. Once it starts getting really caught like that, I will go ahead and start using my hands to get it all mixed in. You definitely want the right consistency. You don't want it to be too mushy, and yet it cannot be too dry. It's almost like a Play-Doh. It definitely needs to stick together, but it also needs to crumble easily as well. If you put too much liquid in, the bubble scoops will be a little flat when you scoop them out and it will take forever for them to dry. I made some a couple of months ago and for some reason I couldn't find my recipe that I normally use so I sort of improvised and they did not turn out the right way at all. So now I am going to go ahead and place these into my separate bowls. And it, of course, it can get a little messy. Place these in my separate bowls for the individual colors. And I want my colors to be light. I don't want them to be super dark. It's unicorn, so you kind of almost want them to be a little more pastel. Put that in there. And I'll use this bowl to place them all back in there. Okay, I'll set it off to the side for a moment while we add our colors. Okay, so add a little yellow. And I'm going to start off with just a little. So like I said, I really want these to be sort of pastel. careful about the amount that I put because it just doesn't take a whole lot and before you know it your color will be a lot darker than you want and I really want these to be a pastel color that's what I use when I make my unicorn sneeze whip soap and I'll place a picture of it on the screen so you can see what that looks like I actually sell it in my girl section as far as whip soaps but <laughs> I love it even for myself okay and then finally put the top on that finally the blue you want to be careful about the colors that you choose to make your um, type of bath bombs and things for the tub because just because it's okay for soap does not mean that it has been approved 
for bath use. I also learned that the hard way. So you want to read the label and make sure if it's not on the actual container itself, you can go to the website from where you purchased it and it will list whether or not that particular product is good for bath use. Okay, so let's line them all up here and we'll get our bowl that we place them in. Okay. And and I make mini scoops. So this is my small ice cream scoop that I use. Okay, and we'll start again. You just place the colors with the batter on the bottom. One layer, then another and you continue to go until you have it all in the bowl. paper right here. This is what I place it on once I scoop it out. So everything is in the bowl here and I got my scoop and here it goes. Let's see. First scoop. Okay. I like to pat it down. Make sure I have enough in there. get it out here. And that's the first one. Again, pat it down into the scoop. And there's another. And scoop. Making sure you have an adequate amount in there. If it's not full, just go in for another dip. Press it down into the scoop. And then place it down. didn't use a large recipe just in case there we go these will be my unicorn bowl scoops I love them look at the pretty colors ah. yes and it smells so good I will definitely be making a bigger batch of these. Okay, so I'm actually gonna let these sit um, probably for about two days, and then I'll bring you back and crumble them under the water to give you an example of how you use them. So, I'll be back then. So it's been a few days and my bubble scoops are all done, and this is what they look like. My unicorn bubble scoop. I've allowed them to actually sit out 
for about three days so they're all ready. They're dry and I'm going to give you an example of what they look like once they're introduced to the water. And as I mentioned as I was making these I had a set of bubble scoops that I put too much wet ingredients in and you see how it's just kind of flat. It didn't really scoop and even now it's so soft that it's not even crumbling. It's just sort of mush. So you want to make sure you don't put too much liquid, too many oils, fragrances, what what have you into your bubble scoop. This would still bubble. It just doesn't have the right appearance as you can see the difference between the two. This one looks like a scoop. This one looks like a splat. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the water running and show you what it looks like once you introduce it to the water and start making bubbles. Also, you can have as many or as few bubbles as you like. It just depends on how much of the scoop that you use. So I'm going to run the water in here. Here's my scoop. You can break it. And if you only want it to add half, and you would just take it, crumble it under the water. So, and with that one, this is the bubble that you get. But I'm going to go ahead and use the whole thing. water has even turned blue. I'm hoping you can see that I'm trying to move some of the bubbles out of the way. Uh, maybe not. But there you go. And that's the bubble scoop. That's how you use them. And here are the bubbles. Okay, that's it for me and this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification button so you'll know every time I place a video out. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Betty and Brenda. And I now have a TikTok page at Betty and Brenda GA. Follow me there as well. You can visit me on my site at BettyandBrenda.com to see all of the wonderful items that we have available. And um, I guess I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.